Hey there boys and girls. As you can see by the mess behind me, I have officially started building the Dakota. I'll obviously be releasing videos of the entire build, but I wanted to just do this as a quick little intro to the project. Just kind of letting you know a little bit more background about the truck, about the story behind it, where the plans are, all that kind of stuff. And then the next videos will just be kind of building it and cutting out all this chit chat sort of thing. But some of you like the chit chat, so here we all are. And if you don't like the chit chat, you're probably gonna be disappointed. So just wait for the next one. The truck is a 2002 quad cab with the factory 5.9, uh, four x four automatic transmission, but it's got about 150,000 miles on it. I got the truck for 500 bucks, actually. Uh, got it off Craigslist. It needed a new ECM, PCM, whatever you wanna call it. It needed a new computer. So I'm calling this project the Super Dakota, Super Duty for the axles and Dakota, because it's a Dakota. Get it? Super Dakota. So my goals for the project are to build this thing to be a really comfortable, streetable kind of family hauler that even my wife is comfortable driving, but still have this thing able to party on the weekends and actually have some fun on the trails. Uh, I wanna do 40s. I wanna do as little lift as possible. I would like to get away with literally no suspension lift. I want the whole lift to be in tires and then I trim fenders out to get them to fit. I don't know if I'm going to be able to achieve that. The rear is in already. Uh, I'm editing that video now. So look for that pretty soon. The front's gonna be tricky. Uh, I'm kind of into the front as you can probably see and it might work, we'll see. I'll, uh, I'll leave you guys in suspense until the video comes out for that one. Uh, the front suspension is gonna be a multi-video deal. It's just gonna be too long to do it all in one video. So that'll be a little mini series I come out with. I wanna be detailed to the point where people really kinda of understand what I'm doing and why, but I don't wanna bore everybody showing every tiny little detail. So I'm trying to find that balance between entertaining and informative, and obviously you can blend those two, but the more informative you get, the less entertaining it gets just kinda of naturally, cause I could literally walk you through every single step of what I'm doing, but a lot of you are gonna get bored. I'm gonna take years to film the entire process if I did it that way. So I'm trying to find a happy medium where it's relatively self-explanatory of what I'm doing. And if there's any interesting little tricks or anything that I'm doing that's not super clear as to why, then I'll obviously explain that. I mean, even this thing done by June, I'm gonna have to go pretty hard at it to get it really done. And I'm not meaning done as in there's nothing left to do on it. I want done to mean I can drive it around, I can have some fun, and I can keep on doing smaller projects as we go. I mean, none of these projects are ever really done, right? In other news, we are at over 670 subscribers now, which is nuts. I'm really shocked. I didn't expect it to go like it's going. Um, that's really, really cool. I really appreciate it. When I'm at a thousand subscribers, then I'll start getting a little bit of advertising revenue through YouTube. So tell a friend, that really helps. In fact, shout out to Four Link Four Wheel Drive and the guys on the Rock Crawling Tech Facebook group. Uh, I know I got a little bump from a bunch of you guys jumping on. So I really appreciate that. Thanks for coming and checking it out and hopefully you'll stick around to see me fumble around in the garage and try and figure my way out of these messes I get myself in. And on that same vein, thanks just to everybody that's subscribed and taken an interest in this channel and seeing what I'm doing here. I'm a guy that's just kind of hanging out doing stuff in this garage and figured you might as well throw a camera on it. Um, I'm sure there's a lot of you that are viewers of this channel that are light years ahead of me and their abilities and their skill level in doing what I'm doing here. Um, I know there's so many super talented people out there that just keep their head down and build really cool stuff and don't bother to do filming or, you know, make any kind of log of what they're doing. And that's something I kind of want to bring out in this channel. I'd kind of, you know, I want this to be as much about you guys viewing it as it is about me. I want this channel and to be more of kind of a culture around what we're doing here, not specifically me is what I'm doing. Cause as you probably already figured out, I'm definitely no expert and I will screw up plenty of things when I'm trying to do this stuff. Um, I have a whole other project 
that I built years ago out there that is just a constant reminder of how not good at this stuff I am. Um, but you do have to learn, and if you haven't built too, built too many things, you're going to screw some things up. And if you've built a ton of stuff and you're an expert, you have a long history of screwing things up and learning from it. But we're going to have fun figuring it out, and hopefully this thing can grow into kind of a community of like-minded people that just like to see cool stuff get built. If I can build this channel to where it gets some momentum behind it to where I can actually start to share other people's abilities and other people's builds and stories. That would just be really cool for me and I think it'd be really cool for you guys. And we'll see. Somehow there'll be a way for this thing to be sustainable and bring in some money to offset the cost of what it takes because with this project um, you haven't made any money on it. I can tell you that. Uh, I'm playing around with maybe eventually doing you know simple stuff, stickers, t-shirts, that kind of thing. Hats, maybe, who knows. Um, obviously, this is way long term, um, but still, 670 subscribers on little old me's channel is really cool for me. So, I'm really excited to have everybody here. And if you're watching this video, and if you're especially if you're still watching this video after all the rambling I've been doing, you're obviously really into it, and you guys are my favorites. All right, I've been rambling long enough, I've got plenty to do on this thing. I better get to work. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.